this is the humerus of the horse we will compare this uh, horse with the humerus of the ox so this is the humerus of the ox and this is the humerus of the horse here the first difference here the delta i tuberosity here this is the delta i tuberosity and this is the delta i tuberosity in the humerus of ox the delta i tuberosity in case of the horse it is very prominent you can see the delta i tuberosity it is very prominent and the second difference is the mastitis the musculospiral groove which is very deep as compared to that of the ox here this is the musculospiral groove in case of the ox so here in case of the horse it is very deep while as in case of the ox it is not as deep as in case of the horse so this is the delta i tuberosity which is very prominent main important difference is you can see this is the bicipital groove and here this bicipital groove it is divided by an intermediate tuberosity so this bicipital groove it is divided by an intermediate tuberosity in case of the horse while as in this is the bicipital groove in case of the ox this is the lateral tuberosity this is medial tuberosity and this is bicipital groove and here you can see this is the lateral this one is the medial and this bicipital groove it is divided by an intermediate tuberosity in case of the horse so you can easily identify now that this is the humerus of the horse and this is the humerus of the ox so this intermediate tuberosity it is present the deltoid tuberosity it is very prominent musculospiral groove it is very deep and here you can see this lateral tuberosity the summit that doesn't overhang the bicipital groove while as in case of here you can see this is the lateral tuberosity in case of the ox here this is the summit it overhangs the bicipital groove but in case of the ox the summit doesn't overhang and in the distal extremity we have this is the coronoid fossa or radial fossa and this is the olecranon fossa in in case of the ox and here this coronoid fossa and this is the olecranon fossa you can see the coronoid fossa and olecranon fossa they are shallow in case of the uh, horse so here in case of dogs they are very deep now this was all about the some important differentiating points about the humerus of the horse